by Danny McGrain. Back in the side. Left back for Celtic. Willie McStay's at right back with Aiken and McAdam. Twin centre backs. The midfield is Grant, McStay, McLeod and Burns. The Stewart is picked up by McStay. Aiken's Spoons came off Paul McStay. There's McKimmy with a great chance for Aberdeen. And it's just about a foot wide. Well, Stuart McKimmy almost getting Aberdeen off to a dream start. Certainly a bit of luck about that. Aberdeen at the, uh, at the edge of the box, cashing in on Celtic's defensive error. The clearance coming back off the Celtic player, breaking for McKimmy. He showed a lot of poise and determination going forward, set up the shooting chance, and the ball goes agonisingly wide. Harvey got the touch in front of McQueen. Aberdeen opening up with Stark, Bell and Simpson in midfield. Pushing Porteous as far forward as possible to join Hewitt and McDougall, but also trying to get their fullbacks, McKimmy and McQueen, forward at every opportunity. Johnston with no support. The sun disappears. Makes the scene rather bleak around Petaudry. Adams header. McKimmy picks it up. That's well, great play from McKimmy. Now Simpson. Bell has McQueen free on the left. Simpson was challenged by Grant. And now there's Sleet falling quite heavily. Still blowing behind Aberdeen. A wintry scene. But a capacity for Tondre. And here's McGarvey with. Willie Miller, Johnston going through the middle, looking for the cross ball. And a wasted effort from McGarvey. Wallace well, Johnston pointing where he wanted the ball placed. McDougall's header. Willie McStay took a knock. It's John Hewitt going forward with Tom McQueen on the other line. That's now for Aberdeen. He's off the head of Mother McLeod. Kimmy takes it from Billy Stark. And he gives it straight to McGrain. Here's Burns on the break. Willie McStay still on the ground on the far side for Celtic. He's playing for a moment with 10 men. That's good play from Miller. Good control with the head, but running into trouble. Here's Paul McStay. No let up in the action. And Willie Miller with a tackle, allowing the throw in and time for treatment for Willie McStay. McStay, a victim of a collision in the air with Frank McDougall. High ball coming forward, McDougall going up awkwardly, it was fair to say, and catching Willie McStay as he got his head to the ball. Peter Grant with a long throw, it's won by McLeish for Aberdeen. Frank McDougall trying to retrieve it. An elbow was used by Martin McLeod. So Aberdeen's free kick this time. But still... A desperate shortage of scoring opportunities at both ends. With more than half an hour gone in the first half. A nudge by McAdam, was it? No, they had a chance for Billy Stark. And the best chance of the first half goes a begging for Aberdeen. Celtic players protesting to the referee. There should have been a free kick before this chance was created. A high ball down the middle started it all. McAdam and McDougall went up together. The Celtic players think that McDougall fouled McAdam. The ball was played wide for Billy Stark. He measured the shot and drove it just beyond the top corner. Billy McStay's header. Simpson challenging McLeod. McKimmy's got space again on the right for Aberdeen. Porteous trying to support him. Edged off the ball by McAdam. That'll be a free kick. In fact, the referee is overruling the linesman and giving the foul to Celtic. Well, it did appear as though the linesman indicated a foul on Porteous, but the referee prefers the view that Porteous was the offender. Aiken is calling it back. A 
Smith playing it in the midfield, but it's won by Paul McStay. Here's Burns, one of the several creative players in view who have had very few chances indeed to display their talents. And that's done by McLeod in the air, but no problems for later in the Aberdeen goal. Stewart again, but he's hit the ball. Paul Pierce down towards McDougall. And the chance for Aberdeen is missed once again. McDougall trying to react quickly enough, but Bonner went down well with a save. Good move that from Aberdeen. Stewart on to Paul Pierce. Delicate ball forward. McDougall reacted quickly enough, but so too did Pat Bonner. So Aberdeen now asserting themselves in attack. Stewart's corner. Too long and swerving behind for the goal kick. That's well taken by Barnes. A beat start with that turn. Still Tommy Barnes, a chance for the shot. And goalkeeper Leighton for Aberdeen. May well have been unsighted for that one, but it went wide of goal. Barnes doing brilliantly. He took the initial long ball brilliantly when he controlled it on his right foot, went, in, went inside start, used his pace going forward, set up the shooting chance, and hooked it just wide. done by Dougie Bell. McQueen going in firmly to tackle Peter Grant. There's McStay. Hewitt wins it. That's good play from Hewitt. Creating space for himself on the left. Porteous and McDougall waiting in the middle. Stark is arriving late. Not towards Porteous, but a good clearance from McAdam. Now Hewitt again. Sidestepping for the next day. Stark at the far post. Playing it against Tommy Burns. Appeals for handball. That surely would have been the softest penalty kick of the season had it been given. Both this tackle gets the ball into the path of Paul McStay for Celtic. There's Grant and McQueen goes firmly into the tackle once again. Now and again, Tommy McQueen is accused of being a little bit lackadaisical and casual but that certainly couldn't be claimed today Miller winning it from McGarvey McQueen could only help it out McGarvey doing well at the byline too high for Johnston, and a penalty kick's been given. A penalty kick has been given for a push on Morris Johnston as the ball came over. Well, drama at Petaudry. John Smith making clear the reason for it. Billy Stark was the offender. Now, this was great play by Frank McGarvey on the right. At the byline, jinking and turning, lofting the ball across. Johnston appeared to be underneath it. He was eased under it there by Billy Stark. And that's why the penalty has been given. Aiken. Brilliantly struck and Celtic are ahead. The Aberdeen supporters at the King Street end. Wild with anger about the penalty kick. And there's some trouble here. A Celtic player has gone down. There was something thrown onto the field. Now the referee coming to sort things out. The Celtic players were celebrating, waving to the Aberdeen supporters. That certainly may have been a little bit inflammatory, but one of the Celtic players is down, and it's not at all certain how that happened. The referee, George Smith, wants to have a word, I think, with the police. So a discussion there, and obviously something's up.
Frustrated felt by the referee about the possibility of a missile being thrown on from behind the goal. Frank Connors out there on the field. And the man in trouble is Paul McStay. And he's taken a knock in the area of the left ear, I think. The penalty kick, though, was taken very well indeed by Roy Aiken. The old-fashioned style, thundering forward to ram the ball past Jim Leighton. And the goalkeeper had no chance at all. Let's hear it in behind McAdam. But they start coming forward. Portis is onside. And that's good goalkeeping by Bonner. Good move from Aberdeen, and the pressure is still on. Trying desperately to get back on terms before half time. Here's Tom McQueen. Bonner being challenged by Billy Stark. And it's cleared away by McAdam. And Frank McDougall went in late heavily on McAdam. The Celtic defenders are incensed, and that was almost equaliser for Aberdeen. Well, I think it has to be said that McDougall went in there looking for the chance to score. I thought he tried to play the ball. And McAdam, who got to it just ahead of him, took the front of McDougall's boot. A minute of injury time played in the first half. Hewitt's corner. Swerving awkwardly in the wind and played away by Willie McStay. And I fancy George Smith will bring the first half to a close very quickly. Yes, the half-time whistle is gone. The players in a hurry to leave the field after a tense, nervy, unsatisfactory and untidy first half, punctuated though by the only goal. Well, Aberdeen get the second half underway. 45 minutes to go in which they'll be looking to clinch the Premier Division title. They have to find the net twice to be sure of doing that, although a draw would make it a virtual certainty that they would win the championship the second time in a row. Bonnie McLeod with the clearance. Releasing Morris Johnston. Has he the pace to get away from Malik McLeish? Bill Johnston trying to do it by himself. And that was inches wide. Well, good play by Morris Johnston. He had the confidence there to take on Alec McLeish. The pass from defence, sending Johnston through the inside right channel with McLeish. He came back inside to take him on, went outside again to make the space for the shot, and it whizzed across the face of Leighton's goal. Willie McStay's header. Simpson wins it. It's Hewitt. Good play from Simpson. Now McKimmy going beyond McGrain. And a free kick has been given to Aberdeen. The collision between McKimmy and McLeod. McLeod clearly thinks that McKimmy was the offender. And now the substitution can be made for Aberdeen. Dougie Bell goes off. And Neil Cooper comes on to add some extra steel to the Aberdeen midfield. Yes, with the free kick. There's Willie Miller. The equaliser for Aberdeen. And how Miller enjoyed it. 17th minute of the second half. And Miller is mobbed by those delirious Aberdeen players. Petwadri has come to life. Well, an orthodox kind of free kick taken by Ian Fortius, looping the ball high into the box. The Celtic defender attention drawn by Alec McLeish. In came Miller, he timed his run well. The downward header sneaking at the far post and Aberdeen are back on level terms. And look at him. Delvin trying to make space to hit for the byline. He's away from McQueen. Good tackle by Miller. Simpson to Stark. Oh, it's a good breakout by Aberdeen. Stark is still going forward. McGrain played on one side. Good play from Stark. This needs a good accurate cross. And it's well taken by Bonner. Excellent goalkeeping under pressure. 
Pressure was applied by Frank McDougall. Well, explaining to McDougall why he went down. And the referee indicating that he's giving a free kick for the challenge by McDougall. Well, Frank McDougall can manage a smile. Now a change will be made for Celtic. Morris Johnston goes off and Brian McClare comes on. And the Scotland centre forward is replaced by McClare. McClare, the scorer of 23 goals this season, yet he couldn't find a place in the Celtic lineup from the start. Well, half an hour now gone in the second half. Just 15 minutes of the match left. The team's tied up at one goal apiece. And a titanic struggle going on out there for the victory. Aberdeen clearly will be happier with the draw than Celtic. Next day going all the way himself and forcing McLeish to concede the corner kick. Burns to near post, Stark headed it on and Cooper needed over the top. A narrow escape for Aberdeen. Neil Cooper's presence of mind saved them. He need that awkward ball over the crossbar. Cowan trying to get involved. Challenging McStay fiercely. The fullback does well, and this is Brian McClare. Tackled by McLeish. Less than five minutes left. Celtic still trying all in all to find their way to Jim Layton and get the winner. Brian McClare. Robin wins it back for Celtic, and that's a corner kick. Well, McLeish looking for the defenders coming to the back for Celtic to pick up probably Roy Aiken. Short corner this time, Robin and Burns. I would only sent one man out to cover that. Cloud hooking the ball across goal. Difficult one for Leighton. He's in trouble. And a free kick's been given. It won't count. The challenge on Leighton are judged to be unfair. And the whistle went immediately. So McGarvey's goal is chopped off. So four minutes left for play. Frustration for Frank McGarvey. And we'll see why now. Why this goal was chopped.